Hello everyone, this is Pavan Sharma. Nowadays the most common question or the most asked question is should we buy? Which stock should we buy? Can we start buying? Will market fall further? So in this video, we're going to talk about all these things. Can market fall further? This is a, like another question because uh, now the actual beer market is started. Not yet started, but we are almost on that uh, edge of that uh, beer market. Now, when you start panicking, when you start feeling insecure that your portfolio will get destroyed or maybe uh, it will go into deep red, that is the time where the actual fear or the beer market starts. Up till now, you are very sure that okay, market will not fall that, till that this point, market will not fall till that point, or maybe the recovery will be there. You are not wrong on that part. The problem is you haven't seen the fall in your trading setup. That could be one of the reason. Because the people who have seen the fall like me or maybe they are the old traders, you must have seen them, they are relaxed. They are not even uh, reacting too much on the market. They are not aggressive in buying. They are not quitting from their positions. In fact, everybody is talking about that you should buy now. It's the right time to buy. So why the market are falling? We can uh, discuss uh, this in separate video, but just to uh, pick up the key points. One is the inflation, rising uh, US dollar pricings and uh, depreciating value of rupee, oil prices, and uh, you can say macroeconomic data or uh, the rising interest rate. There are a lot many things are there. Because of that, the market is continuously weak, but that is not the entire reason. The reason is, if you look at the past, we have a like uh, what we call it a market cycle or a stock cycle. It says that market will rise for some year and then it will correct itself and then it will rise for another year. So if you look at the past now, every time when Nifty rises for like 2-3 years, after that we have seen a correction. So this is the same thing. Second, US market in the last uh, one decade, 10 to 12 years, it was continuously rising and the correction was overdue there also. So these all these markets are interconnected and on the basis of that, we can say that once the correction will be over, then once again the buying will start. Why the correction is needed? Because market is overvalued now. After this, you will not get any good profits. So just to uh, like move on to the next point or maybe uh, in, to invest further the first step is that you will book your current profit you will take out the money from the market that is what FII is doing and then you will reinvest that into the right valued stocks so FII are pulling out money not because of the reason that Indian market is not attractive or maybe that Indian market does not have that potential now no Indian market is the one of the top emerging market in all the emerging countries so FII will come back and will start buying once again but at what price that's the question you must understand that when the FII started selling our equities it was a price of around 14,000 so when you come down to that level of 14,000 once again you will see that FII are once again entering into the market it will not start immediately. Right now, on an average, FI is selling more than 2,500 per day, 2,500 crores per day. So that will come down to 2,000, then uh, maybe 1,500, then maybe 1,000. And later on, that could be like turned into green. So that is one. So first point is, we should understand that the market can fall for another 1,000 point before FI will enter into the market. I have just uh, recently uh, heard this interview of uh, uh, the top analyst of uh, Jeffries. I think it's a Wood uh, Scott. So he said that they will come back and he even discussed about some sectors also which was not published there. And uh, they will come back when the market will be corrected, when the market will be available at a very attractive valuation. Right now, the P of Nifty is uh, trading at around 18 plus and the value, like means the attractive value of P is around 16. So once again, if you look at the numbers, 18 plus and 16 
and right now what we are uh, trading at is around 15300 and then 14000 and attractive uh, pricing will be available at 14000 so if you club all together then make sure that you get ready for another 1000 point fall it cannot be exactly 1000 it can be 700 800 so around that level you will start seeing the buying coming once again point number 2 how to identify that uh, that once the buy will start how you will identify that the buying is actually started the market has stopped falling first thing is when the market will fall and by that time most of the retail traders will turn bearish or most of the traders like they will also turn bearish once the fi will start buying they'll pull the market down once again the fi will start they will pull the market down once again buying will happen the market will pull down so they will create a range range means a something kind of rectangle they will create that rectangle and once that rectangle is formed a consolidation will happen only then we can say that now it is time to buy second uh, these days if we have seen the uh, like uh, recent events rbi increase rate market reacted heavily f uh, fed rate increases the rate we have just uh, seen the market us market going crazy for more than 2% in one day uh, you have seen the uh, events any news which is coming around market is reacting almost in every news another point is that market should stop reacting to all these news and once the market will stop reacting to this news plus the consolidation is happening that is the time you should enter into the market with your hard earned money so wait for that time wait for another thousand point correction before you step into the next step which is buying now uh, if you look at the attractive sector when the buying will happen when the market will start to rise what are the uh, sectors in which you will see the buying the first sector i would say would be financials and specifically the uh, small finance banks and the private banks first private bank i will give the weightage second small finance banks AU small finance bank would even small finance bank there are other banks also but not the PSU bank PSU banks come at the third place second sector would be IT because this is the time where IT will come down to their attractive valuation once again everybody will start buying into that why IT are always the hot favorite first they don't have any depreciation value they don't have any setup where they have invested in like big companies big factories if you look at the lines uh, a refinery and all it is uh, like uh, expanded into so many kilometers so th there they have a depreciations for every machines and everything so that will uh, that actually impact the cost of their uh, profit but in IT they don't do anything they even hire one wire also the wire the mouse which you are using the anything which you are using they will hire that they will not buy that one reason the day they want to stop uh, like uh, working from a particular uh, place they can stop doing it so that's why the ITs are always in demand so the next step the next sector will be you will see a strong buying in IT sector also the third one will be FMCG every day we will not stop eating uh, breads will not stop eating eggs will not stop eating uh, biscuits milk and everything toothpaste toothbrush we will be using those also soap shampoos uh, shower gels and everything will be there so you must understand that FMCG will never be out of uh, you can say uh, picture people have actually started buying ITC now Nestle is once uh, once again uh, back in the uh, picture Dabur is also there Britannia is also there so you can look out for the best stocks from this sector also just like uh, private banks and uh, ITs second thing we, we were talking about LIC also there were a few questions about LIC also when the LIC IPO came in, that was almost around May. By the time the sentiment were already bearish, only a few of one or two FIs have invested a small amount in LIC, and now LIC has uh, gone down by 30 percent from its stock. So that way, if you look at LIC, is going to be another stock, not sector, another stock where FI will definitely love to invest. So all these things will come in place, but you have to give some time and this might take another few months also not years few months also and when the buying will start market will not rise crazily it will take some time there also 
so make sure that you have patience right now the most important factor is to keep patience because right now market will test every single thing you have and that is the time where you will start turning yourself into a trader investor and it will give you good profit in long term also that's all for today guys i'll see you in my next video have a nice day bye bye